Hey everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to show you a very interesting patient with a very interesting diagnosis and um, we're going to be talking about a hip issue today. Um, this young lady is 60 years old, underwent a anterolateral hip approach um, and had a, a hip replacement done approximately six months ago. Now, did very well for three to four weeks uh, after surgery and then about in the fifth to sixth week started to work and worked like 99 to 100 hours in a 12 day period. On her feet a lot, uh, moving, standing, walking, sitting, um, and just really progressively got worse. Having a lot of anterior hip pain and some deep gluteal discomfort around the SI joint. Um, so what I want to do today is try to tease out where this problem is coming from. So she doesn't have a tremendous amount of pain when she's weight bearing. I had her stand on her left leg and right leg and uh, that didn't seem to aggravate things too much. But one thing that really hurts is if she bends over she gets a very mechanical pain and pinch in the front of the hip. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do this from this side here. I'm going to passively move her leg for her. Okay. We have ruled out that she does not have a herniated disc causing her leg pain. She's had an MRI of her lumbar spine and cleared that prior to surgery. I'm going to do a little straight leg raise. Okay. That's all right. There's a little tightness on the back of the leg. Okay. I'm going to bend her knee. And I'm going to bring her right here. Any pain? No. Okay. So that looks good. I'm going to internally and externally rotate her. Pretty good. Okay. I'm going to straighten her leg back out and we're going to let it go down. Any problems there? Okay, so passively looking really good. All right, now I'm going to ask her to lift that leg with the leg straight. So go ahead and try to lift. Very painful, isn't it? Okay. Now what happened earlier is I brought her up here and as I was letting her down she was starting to have some discomfort with that and that's because she was trying to hold it up. So what I did is I had her push her heel into my hand, so push down. Push, 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 push all the way down. That feels good, doesn't yep. it? Yep. No pain whatsoever in the hip. Right. So I'm going to bend her knee, and I'm going to ask her to hold her leg there, and don't let me pull it down. Okay? Not bad. Not too bad. Okay, so her hip flexor, iliopsoas, is working well. Not a lot of pain with that. But as soon as we straighten this leg out, and we have her try to hold it up, hold it, can't do it. Can't do it. Okay? And she's exquisitely point tender right at the proximal rectus, okay? So we follow the rectus up, we palpate, she's having a lot of palpable discomfort there. She offers good resistance into, um, let's have her bridge. We're gonna have bend both knees, we're gonna be picked the bottom up off the table. No problem. Go ahead down. Don't let me push the, the knees in. Good, bring the knees together. Don't let me pull them out. Good strength there. So internal and external rotation. Adductors are good. Abductors are good. Um, but she cannot flex the hip with the leg straight. So I'm, I'm almost positive she has a proximal rectus femoris um, inflammation, tendonitis. And it's, it's, she's tried a steroid taper. She's also tried an anti-inflammatory. Those did not change her scenario, but she's, she's so inflamed. I think that it just hasn't gotten better. When she bends forward, she has a mechanical compression. I think it has to do with a lot of pain, inflammation, swelling. I don't think it's a prosthesis problem because when she stands in weight bear, she has really no problem. And people who have loosening of the prosthesis usually have weight bearing pain and pain when they rotate in weight bear. She didn't have any of those problems when I tested her a while ago. So our thought at this point is in a, a fluoroscopic guided injection at the insertion or origin of the rectus femoris and give her four days of rest after that and see how she does. If she does great, icing on the cake. If um, she only gets relief for two or three weeks, then that is very diagnostic that this is more of a tendonitis issue and soft tissue problem rather than a uh, prosthesis in the bone issue. So if you have any questions, uh, make sure you get in touch with me at orthoevalpal.com. Go to our Get in Touch page. Ask some questions about this young lady. If you have any other testing that you would like to do or see, um, let, let me know. And um, I've done other things with her already, but I think we can pretty much isolate this to a proximal rectus. So um, thanks again for listening. Take care.